Hey guys, welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. Today we are going to dive deep into Microsoft Teams meeting and we'll explore all the features and options of a Teams meeting. To create a Teams meeting in Teams application, you will go to Calendar tab and at the top right, you will click New Meeting. There is another way to create the meeting in Teams application. When you click Calendar tab, you can see your weekly calendar. Let's say I want to schedule a meeting for today between 11 to 11.30. So this is the slot for 11. I'll click on this slot and this will open the same window. Under Add Title, you will type the title for the meeting. Let's say Team Meet. For example, you can type any subject for the meeting. Under Add Required Attendees, you will type the email address or the display name of the users to whom you want to send this meeting invite. Let me add few users here. Now, if you look at here, it shows that both are free at this particular time. But let's assume Bob Ross and Concepts user are busy at this time. And you need to know that what will be the best time when these two users are free and I can schedule a meeting with them. To verify the availability for both the users, you will click Scheduling Assistant. Here you can see the calendar of all the users and you can see what time they are available for a meeting. Let's go back to the meeting. If you want to add a user as optional attendee, you will click optional and you will add the user here. Optional attendee will also receive the invite for this meeting and if he wants, he can join the meeting. Under date and time, you can see the time slot that we selected. But if you want to change it, you can change the date and can change the time as well. Depending on the time duration we have selected, it shows 30 minutes. But if you want to change the duration of the meeting, you can change it from the end date. Let's say I want to schedule this meeting for one hour, so I can select a slot for one hour. You can also set the duration of this meeting to the entire day by enabling all day option. If you want to create a recurring meeting, you can click on this drop down arrow and you can select if you want to repeat this meeting daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or even you can add a custom date. Let's assume we want to do this meeting weekly. So you can select weekly and this meeting will be scheduled as a recurring meeting that will occur every week, this day. And if you want, you can set the end date for the recurring meeting as well. If you want to send meeting invite to a Teams channel, you can add the channel here. To select a channel, you will click in this box. Here you will see the list of the teams in your organization. Select the team. You will see the list of the channels under that particular team and select the channel, for example, channel two. And this meeting invite will be sent to all the members of this channel, including the owners. If you want to send meeting invite to the personal calendars of channel members, you can turn this option on that says send personal invites. You can also add Teams rooms to schedule a meeting. If you have room mailboxes in your organization, you can add the room mailbox here. And if you want to add details about the meeting, you can add the description of the meeting here. On the right, we can manage who can bypass the lobby. Teams meeting lobby is a virtual area where participants of the meeting wait for someone to let them enter the meeting. The default value for lobby bypass is set by the Teams meeting policy that is assigned to the meeting organizer. The default setting for bypass lobby is people in my organization and guest. If you want to change this value, click the drop down arrow and you can select an option as per your requirement. So let's talk about these options one by one. The first option is everyone. If you select everyone, all the users, including anonymous users, can join the meeting without waiting in lobby. If you select people in my organization, trusted organizations and guests, then everyone with a tenant or guest account or the users with accounts in federated organizations can join the meeting without waiting. If you select people in my organization and guest, then only the users with Azure AD account or the guest accounts in the tenant can join the meeting without waiting. If you select people in my organization, then only the users of your tenant can join the meeting without waiting in lobby. If an external user will join the meeting, he will have to wait in lobby and only the organizer of the meeting or presenter of the meeting can admit him within the meeting. If you select people who were invited, 
only the users who have received the meeting invite can join the meeting without waiting in lobby. And if you select only organizers and co-organizers, then only the meeting organizers can join the meeting automatically. Everyone else will have to wait in the lobby and the organizer or the someone who is already in the meeting can admit the other users. There are other settings as well that you can configure for a meeting. To check these settings, click more options. If you want people to bypass the lobby, those are joining the meeting by calling the number. You can turn this option to on. You can also let users to directly join the meeting if they have the registration link. If you enable this option, you can also control if attendees are allowed to use their mic and the camera within the meeting. If you want to hear a sound when a user joins a meeting through dial in number or when he leaves, you can enable this option. You can also control the users to present their screens in a meeting. If you click this drop down arrow, you can control if everyone is allowed to share their screen. The users of your organization and the guest users are allowed to share the screen. You can select specific people or the only organizer and the co organizer of the meeting. So once you make the changes as per your requirement, click save. And let's close this window and let me share this invite to an external user and let's send this invite. So let's join this meeting. This user is the organizer of this meeting. That is why he was able to join this meeting without waiting in lobby. Now let me join this meeting from the external account. And you can see this user is not able to join the meeting automatically. Someone from the meeting will have to admit him. Let's go back to the team's application. And here we can see the option to admit this user. Now this organizer will admit the test user who is external user and this way the external user can join the meeting. So that is all for now. If you found this video helpful and informative, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.